World War II was one of the darkest chapters in human history. Between 1939 and 1945, bloody battles claimed over 60 million lives. Cities that used to be vibrant were transformed into desolate, destroyed landscapes by the fighting. Although it's now nearly 77 years since that terrible war ended, artifacts from that period have successfully avoided human discovery and have been hidden away or are still being recovered today. We'll now show you which recent discoveries from World War II are among the most exciting of their kind and give us an insight into the dark past. Before we get started, be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos. Imperial Eagle As part of the German Navy, the battleship Admiral Graf Spee was used during the Spanish Civil War and at the beginning of the Second World War. After being damaged in combat against several British cruisers in December 1939, the ship headed for the port of Uruguay's capital, Montevideo. There, the warship, which was over 180 meters long, was to be made seaworthy again. However, after Admiral Graf Spee was denied entry, the then commander, Hans Langsdorff, made a drastic decision. Thinking he was in a hopeless situation, he gave the order to sink the Admiral Graf Spee in the Rio de la Plata off Montevideo. So it happened that the massive Imperial Eagle that had adorned the ship before went down together with the mighty warship. The Nazi bronze, weighing a good 360 kilos and 2.8 meters high, was finally recovered in February 2006 and has since been in storage in a Uruguayan Navy warehouse. However, a court recently decided that the Imperial Eagle must be sold. Half of the proceeds will go to the government. It's amazing that one object has such a rich history and can tell us so much about the time it's from. Carrier Pigeon in the Chimney A few years ago, another casualty of the Second World War was recovered in London, a carrier pigeon. On its way, the bird got caught in a chimney and was not able to free itself. What was special about this find, which was recorded in an old chimney in a residential building, was the message that had once been tied to the carrier pigeon's leg. In detail, this is a cryptic code made up of 27 groups of five letters each. However, since the authorities today don't have access to the relevant code books and don't have details about the encryption used, no one knows what the message was that never reached its destination. Secret Nuclear Power Plant Every one of us can understand that the rather small skeleton of a carrier pigeon can be overlooked for decades, but what about a gigantic nuclear storage facility? In fact, the Nazis' secret underground facility was only supposedly tracked down in northern Austria a few years ago. The complex network of tunnels and holes covers an area of 75 hectares and was used for nuclear research. After detecting unusually high levels of radiation in the region, some researchers began to study the site in detail. When the huge complex was finally discovered in the ground, those involved in the search operation were amazed. Some researchers suspect that this was one of the largest weapon systems used by the Nazis. The building may have been connected to the top-secret B-8 Baird Kristall. In the hidden production complex, the Nazis manufactured the ME-262 jet fighter, which was known as a wonder weapon. Million Silver Coins in 1942, the SS city of Cairo was en route from India to London when the ship was sunk by a German submarine 700 kilometers off the coast of the island of St. Helena. The cargo ship that was hit then sank over 5,000 meters below sea level, where it remained undiscovered in its ocean grave until 2013. But then, a team of experts managed to salvage the remote wreck of the SS city of Cairo. Incidentally, there was a 
huge discovery of what the cargo ship was carrying. Thousands of silver coins that weigh a total of a hundred tons and have a current value of $50 million. When German torpedoes hit the SS city of Cairo, there were almost 300 passengers on board, and more than 100 of them did not survive the attack. After the salvage team received their share of the coin's worth in accordance with international regulations, the rest of the silver coin's worth and value was passed to its rightful owner, the UK Treasury. Soviet planes spotted in Poland the wreckage of a Soviet fighter-bomber lay undiscovered in a Polish river for 70 years after the war. The plane, which had contained two crew members, had been shot down by the Germans in 1945. A few years ago, during the summer, Poland experienced a major drought, and as a result of this, the water level of the river dropped dramatically, revealing the remains of the crashed plane. Also among the rubble were parts of Soviet uniforms, boots, a parachute, and the pistol of one of the pilots. Japanese Battleship the battleship Musashi was the pride of the Japanese Navy during World War II. In fact, the 260-meter-long ship is still one of the largest and most heavily armed warships ever launched. However, on October 24, 1944, the Musashi was sunk by U.S. fighter planes and has since been considered lost. It was only in 2015 that American Paul Gardner Allen, co-founder of Microsoft, managed to track down the shipwreck at a depth of more than a thousand meters below sea level in the Sibuyan Sea. After Allen found the wrecked Musashi at the bottom of the ocean, he posted photos and videos of the sunken battleship. The recordings show that the bow of the ship is pointing upright. The disastrous condition of the Musashi suggests that the ammunition stores in the ship's belly exploded during the sinking, causing much of the wreckage. P-40 Kitty Hawk on June 28, 1942, Dennis Copping, a 24-year-old pilot, was flying a damaged P-40 Kitty Hawk to a British airfield in Egypt for repairs. However, the scheduled repairs were never carried out. The young lieutenant actually never reached his destination. For almost 70 years, the whereabouts of the pilot and his machine were an unsolved mystery. The fighter plane was not discovered until May 2012 by an oil worker. Set in the hot desert sands of the Sahara, the P-40 Kitty Hawk was still in exceptional condition. Unexpected complications probably led to Copping having to make an emergency landing in the middle of the desert. Not far from the plane, he set up a temporary shelter with the help of his parachute. However, the remains of the pilot have not been found to this day and remain a mystery. USS Independence the success achieved by the crew of the USS Independence during World War II in the Pacific was remarkable. The fighter planes stationed on the ship shot down over a hundred Japanese aircraft and sank the enemy cruiser Oyoda. After the end of the war, the light aircraft carrier also took part in the planned atomic bomb tests on the Bikini Atoll as an oversized test object. The surprising part of this, the USS Independence turned out to be unexpectedly forceful and resilient. In fact, the two nuclear bombs, which had an explosive force of 23 kilotons of TNT, did not harm the almost 190-meter-long ship. Since the USS Independence was radioactive after surviving the tests, it was then taken to Pearl Harbor and San Francisco for examinations. A few weeks later, the irradiated aircraft carrier was finally sunk off the Farallon Islands, a good 30 kilometers off the coast of San Francisco. It's in the best of company there. Between 1946 and 1970, more than 47,000 barrels and containers with radioactive waste were disposed of there. Mega Submarine more than 120 meters long, almost 12 meters wide, the Japanese submarines of the Sentoku class embodied the largest conventional submarines of that time. In addition, the floating giants were able to deploy several fighter planes at once. A total of five of these monstrous submarines went into production. However, only three of them would be completed by the end of World War II. 
On August 26, 1945, the crews of the gigantic submarines were ordered to raise black flags, a sign of surrender. It was then that all of the Sentoku-class submarines became property of the U.S. victors. The following year, however, those responsible decided to sink the mega-submarines so that they could not be inspected by the Soviet Union. Ultimately, the Sentoku-class were used as targets for new types of torpedoes, after which they sank in the depths of the sea off Hawaii. It wasn't until August 2013 that marine researchers accidentally rediscovered one of the wrecks. Crashed Wonder Weapon We've already told you that the Messerschmitt ME Aircraft 262 was described by Nazi propaganda as a wonder weapon. However, as is well known, the so-called jet aircraft was not intended to pull the tide of war back on the side of the Nazis. Produced between 1943 and 1945, only 800 ME-262s were delivered to the aerial warfare section of the Nazi military. One of these machines, which crashed in the Netherlands on September 12, 1944 was recovered a few years ago. The fact that the wreck could not be found for decades was due to the fact that the Germans immediately hid the debris of their wonder weapon in a nearby bomb crater. The fear that the then new technology would fall into the hands of the enemy was too great. After the exact location of the crashed plane became known, staff at the Dutch Aviation Museum began to carefully dig up the wreckage. The salvaged parts were then taken to the museum and and meticulously cleaned. However, it wasn't long before some representatives of the national military came forward and confiscated the wreckage of the ME-262. The reason? There was no permit for excavations on the relevant site. The USS Juno and the Five Sullivan Brothers the USS Juno was a light cruiser in the United States Navy and was fighting in the naval battle of Guadalcanal when a torpedo launched from a Japanese destroyer heavily damaged it. The day after the cruiser was hit, November 13, 1942, it was torpedoed again, but this time by a Japanese submarine. It broke in half and sank in less than a minute. After seeing all of the violence of the explosion of the USS Juno, the commanders of other cruisers nearby were convinced that there could not have possibly been any other survivors on the ship. They were wrong. The over 100 survivors of the accident clung on to the cruiser's wreckage and rafts in the water while watching the other American warships move further and further away. Of these over 100 alive at that point, only 10 would be rescued and ultimately survive. The five Sullivan brothers were among those that passed away in the accident. After this, the film The Fighting Sullivans was released, marking the start of the sinking of Juneau being used as a war propaganda coup for the U.S. Navy. Another destroyer was named in honor of the Sullivan brothers. However, the Navy tried to cover up the fact that out of the sailors who survived the initial sinking, at least two of the Sullivan brothers were there. Many of the final ten survivors claimed they had seen three of the brothers alive in the water. Recently, the wreck of the USS Juno was discovered. On St. Patrick's Day in March of 2018, a team led by Paul Allen and Robert Kraft discovered the ship on the ocean floor two and a half miles beneath the surface of the water near the Solomon Islands in the Pacific Ocean. Today, the ship is a war grave for the many hundreds of lives lost in its sinking. Graf Zeppelin Germany's Navy built only one aircraft carrier for World War II, the Graf Zeppelin. The idea was launched in 1938, and by 1941, Grand Admiral Raider informed the leader of Germany's army that, being 85% complete at that time, the Graf Zeppelin would be fully finished the following year. What actually happened was that by 1943, the Graf Zeppelin was abandoned due to a lack of interest in the project, even though it was already 95% complete. To make sure that the Graf Zeppelin did not end up in the hands of Russia, it was discarded in the shallow waters of Poland's Stettin after World War II ended in 1945. 
However, the Russians found the aircraft carrier in 1946 and towed it from Poland to Leningrad, intending to repair it. This ultimately didn't happen, and the Graf Zeppelin was then taken back to the Polish coast. Just a year later, in 1947, the Graf Zeppelin was used as target practice for Soviet naval ships and warplanes. Miraculously, it was still afloat after 24 bombs and projectiles. What ultimately sank the Graf Zeppelin was two torpedoes. No one knew the actual undersea location of the aircraft carrier until its wreckage was discovered by a Polish oil company, Petro Baltic, in 2006. They found a wreck near the port of Lebad that was around 265 meters long, and further investigations by the Polish Navy survey ship ORP Arktowski confirmed this. It was indeed the Graf Zeppelin, sitting a shocking 263 feet below the sea. We're interested in your opinion. Which find from the Second World War interested you the most? We're already looking forward to your comments. Give us a thumbs up if you liked today's video. While you're at it, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to stay up to date from now on. Thank you for watching, have a good one, and see you next time.